Today we're gonna be doing another experiment, making some experiment. We're not gonna make this video video too short. So before we do pour the whole thing in, deal with this. So we have some baking soda here. Oh my gosh, you can see the sounds fizzing. Oh my God, what's these? There's some bubbles from the bottom. So let's just pour this whole entire thing in here. Come on, didn't fizz up? Come on, it's fizzing. It's wet. It's wet. Wet bubbles. Oh my gosh. Fix it. It's not stopping it to fizz. I think I'm, I'm going to make a bath bomb and just put in the water next time if I find the recipe. Because we, we can definitely do that. It involves baking soda and salt. I think. So. Let's see if we can pour it in again. It makes it fizz again. Let's just pour more in here. Then. Is this called arm and hammer? That's cool because there's an arm and a hammer in the cookie. Okay, test number two. Not too much, not too much of a thing. But yeah, this is kind of cool. The cup, there's like um, little particle effects going on in there. I'm, I'm gonna pour this in here. You can see all the baking soda smoking. Kids, it's smoking. Look at this. Um, oops. Look at this baking soda that's at the bottom and also smoke when I pour it. Let me just see this again. Okay, I pour it in here and it smokes. It's not smoking anymore, so yeah. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not going to make this video too short, but I don't know what to do now. Except pour this all in. Here. So... Yeah, I don't know what else to do, but <sighs> let's move on to experiment number two. I'm going to find a new recipe. Kids, I made a little, um, some little bath bombs out of um, oil. There's the oil, um, baking soda, of course, and salt. So uh, um, I wonder if this will fizz. Okay, that's supposed to happen if we have a bath bomb. It's fizzing. Come on, rise up, rise! Oh my gosh, see the water. Particles. This can survive for quite a while. You can see the baking soda under there. This is cool. Come on, pull up. It's, come on, put some more in there. The crumbs. Put them in there. I'll sh after this, I'll show you the recipe. Oh my gosh, the table's wet now. Oh yeah, it's busy look crazy. Kids have some more, I forgot. Come on, get in there, fizz. So this will last quite a while because, um, oops, baking soda takes a while to quite melt. So that will last for a bit. So I'm gonna show you the recipe. Just, you have to mold it too. First pour some baking soda into your little plate. Okay, it stopped. A little bit of baking soda. Pour a little bit of salt. Get this in there. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. And also, a lot of oil. Just kidding. When I say a lot, I mean a little. Oops, I think that's in too much. Get some of this stuff. Okay, mix this up till it's... This is not supposed to have and come on more baking soda. Okay, you get a consistency now. See, it's like molding in your hands now. This is actually quite, quite slippery, and there you have it. Your own little bath bomb. Okay, put this in here. And that's how you do it. I didn't quite pour, um, my gosh, it's fizzing me. Okay, let's just pour the whole thing in here because there's some baking soda. There's a glop of baking soda at the bottom. 
Come on, there's a Glock. What, what is a Glock, by the way? So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you tried these two experiments that I try at home. These are incredibly safe, but just don't do not eat this these ingredients before you um uh make this experiment especially if you're like a baby sister don't let her come near it because it might spill and she might eat it so like so don't do that bye